Okay, so there is a lot of different ways to solve this problem. Matter of fact, if you don't know much math, you can still figure this out. Let's take a look at the question. So Ben has three times as many shirts as his dad. Together they have 24 shirts. How many shirts does each have? All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, we do have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is Ben has 10 shirts and his dad has 14. B is Ben has 18 shirts and his dad has 6. C is Ben has 6 shirts and his dad has uh, 18. And D is Ben has 14 shirts and his dad has 10. All right, so one more time, Ben has three times as many shirts as his dad. Together they have 24 shirts. How many shirts does each have? Okay, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct uh, solution here is B, which is Ben has 18 shirts and his dad has six. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A plus, and if you're like, oh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this seems very easy. Where did I go wrong? Well, if you're confused, you're gonna see exactly how to solve this problem as we get into the video. But uh, this is a multiple choice question. And you can see here that uh, B, if you just kind of go through these uh, different answers, is the only one that makes sense. All right, so let's go ahead and see exactly how to solve this problem. And again, if you're confused about what to do here, well, this will make sense as we get into the video. Okay, so we have a math word problem, and the first thing you want to do is always use the rule of three. In other words, read a problem at least three times before you, you know, really uh, start doing anything in terms of writing out uh, uh, steps or equations. Make sure you understand the question and, you know, really assimilate all the details in the problem. So the question here is, how many uh, does each have? So how many shirts does each have? So when you're looking for, or when you're looking to answer a question, a math question that says how many of something, well, that's an unknown value. And that's almost a perfect clue that this could uh, be solved nicely with algebra, okay? Because we have things in algebra that are called variables, x, y, z, for example, and these represent an unknown value or a specific value. So we could use a variable here to model the unknown and of course, I'm going to be doing that. But before um, we actually establish a variable for an unknown value here, what you want to do is try to model the situation. And, you know, there's various uh, ways you can do that. So let me go ahead and show you my little model. OK, so you want to, again, try to see the problem, visualize it. And this is basically what's going on here. So here is the dad and here is Ben. So Ben has three times as many shirts because listen, Ben is young. He's got to go out and about. He's got to impress his friends with all his nice shirts. The dad, you know, maybe someone like my age, hey, you know what? <laughs> as long as the shirt is nice and clean and presentable, you know, and of course, I'm speaking for myself. Maybe uh, some uh, dads out there have more shirts than their kids. But anyways, the dad has a certain amount of shirts, but Ben has three times as many. So how many shirts does a dad have? Well, we don't know. That's an unknown value. So if we just say, well, we'll let X equal the number of shirts the dad has. Well, if the dad has X number of shirts, then Ben has three X number of shirts. So we'll go ahead and establish these variables right now. We'll let X equal the number of shirts the dad has and three X equals the number of shirts uh, Ben has. Now we have to go back to the problem because it doesn't do us any good to just to have um, these variables. So we have x and 3x. So x and 3x, of course, we're looking to solve what these um, amounts are. But we can't um, determine the value of a variable unless we can construct an equation. Okay, And of course, this is going to be very easy because we have this part of the problem. Together, they have 24 shirts. So if this is the number of the shirts, uh, the dad has, this is the number of shirts uh, Ben has, and together they have 24 shirts. Well, hopefully, uh, this is pretty easy to see that we can build a lovely equation right here. So x plus 3x is equal to 24. Again, x is the number of the shirts, number of shirts the dad has. Uh, 3x is Ben's uh, shirts. 
So x plus 3x is 24. And at this point, we have a simple linear algebraic equation. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take uh, the next step, which is to solve this basic equation for x. And then, of course, uh, the answer will be apparent. So let's go ahead and take that next step, which, of course, is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you want to um, kind of show uh, some support for what I do, now, I'm only asking for your support so I can reach people like yourself and other people that might need help in mathematics. Okay, this is the whole idea behind my channel is to try to connect with people that aren't getting the math instruction that they need to be successful in math. I mean, so many people are frustrated in math. They're like, I don't like math. I'm bad at math. I want to quit on math. I don't want to, you know, this is not good. Okay. And unfortunately, you know, I've been teaching for decades and decades. I have talked to so many uh, people that have, um, you know, had such a bad experience with math 40, 50 years ago. They can remember when, you know, uh, some teacher told them that they were bad in math or they got frustrated. They just didn't get the right support that they needed. And they kind of, you know, uh, didn't pursue their dreams. Okay, a lot of people said, oh, I wanted to be an engineer, but I quit because I thought I was bad at math. So I'm trying to prevent that. I'm telling you right now, 99% of you out there can be outstanding in math. There are no shortcuts, but you need great math instruction. So anyways, by you subscribing, it really does help that YouTube algorithm push my content out. And if you're gonna subscribe, go ahead and hit that notification bell as well. But um, listen, I don't wanna take up too much of our time here, but th this is why I, you know, have my YouTube channel is to reach as many people as I, I possibly can. And every subscriber to me, I look at as my student. Okay, so thanks uh, for listening to my little commercial here. Let's continue on with the problem. All right, so here we have x plus 3x is equal to 24. Again, we need an equation, okay, to solve for the variable. Just because we have these variables, if we don't have an equation, we can't solve for the variable. So here we have x plus 3x. Again, x is the dad's number of shirts. 3x is Ben's number of shirts, but together they have 24. So this is going to be a very simple equation to solve. Uh, right, so we got x and or we have 1x. Let me go ahead and just make this super clear. So when you have x by itself, just in case uh, some of you didn't know, there is a 1 in front of that x. Okay, so if I have y, that's actually 1y, but we don't typically typically write a 1. Okay, but that's what they call, uh, that's what's called a coefficient. So we have like terms here, 1 and 3. So this is going to be 4x. We can add these like terms. So 4x is equal to 24. So how do we solve 4x? Easy. All we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 4, and we have x is equal to 6. Okay, so x is equal to 6, but what does that mean? Well, we have to go back to our model here. Remember, we said we're going to let x equals the number of dad's shirts. So we can't uh, fail to answer the question. Just because we solved the equation, we now need to answer the question. So x is equal to 6. Again, x was what uh, the number of shirts the dad uh, has. So that's 6. And 3x, now that we know that x is 6, so 3 times 6 is the number of shirts Ben has, which of course is 18, and 6 plus 18 is 24. This all makes sense. Okay, so hopefully you can see how easy it is to solve a problem like this using algebra. But again, if you looked at this problem and just kind of reasoned through it because you were like, hey, I don't know, you know, you're not thinking in terms of algebra, but you're like, I could solve this, you know, I can, you know, I have the common sense and, you know, logic. Uh, to solve this and that is that is fantastic, right? That's what you should always do because math Okay, math problems can be solved in a variety of ways and that's where there's kind of a creative process here So for those of you that didn't use algebra, but still solve this problem again Fantastic. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures Thank you for your time and have a great day